Well guys, we're finally here at um, Bramwell Station. About halfway, they reckon. Um, and what I thought I'd do this afternoon before we get onto the tins, is um, do a little bit of maintenance. Now, I'm gonna pop the bonnet, and I'm gonna check the air filter number one, and also the Dometic air filter above the bed. Right, so we've popped the hood, guys. Engine bay's- Popped your hood. Popped me hood. Now the engine bay looks like it's got a little bit of dust in, but we're that's fine. So, boxy. this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna pop this air filter off. Now, and we're gonna have a look and see. I've actually been over to see Keelan's one. Keelan's not running that sock, funny enough. And um, you want that to be, look how clean that is on the top, and it's doing its job. But that is actually not too bad in the big scheme of things. And also, you can see, no, look, when it's up the top here, that's, that's clean as. Oh yeah. So, but what I'm thinking is, realistically, that is no better than what Keelan's air filter just looked like. And he's not running that sock. But that sock is causing me to run at 30 litres to 100. And it is clogged up. 30 litres? So, I don't know, like, am I gonna keep running? I reckon, because I've got it, I might just leave it up, but I'm gonna give it a wash. Um, so that's all I'm, you just gotta make sure you put that back on properly. Yeah, I don't know, maybe the filter is very dirty. Look at all that dust in here. I don't know if you can see, but I don't know. Let's get it out. I don't know. I think you pull this. Pull this. I don't know if you can wash these things, but look at that. Let's see. Oh wow! So that is after. When did we leave the dust? Monday morning. Today's Friday. So it just shows you. I really actually need to clean this out every day after a long road. That's look the red that. dust. Look at that. And. It would have been a good idea to get a spare one of these because this is just like a cardboard around here, so you don't want to. I don't have a spare one, so I don't want to damage it. Damage it. I don't want to wash it either because it's cardboard. So. Good morning. Day six, we're at um, still at Bramwell Station, so this is where we're um, about to tackle some serious 4x4 stuff. Um, let's go around and have a look here. Yeah, hang on a sec. It's morning, Mark. What are we about to do, mate? Oh, uh, mate, I really don't know. I'm not sure if I'm up for this. I don't know. Mark sounds like as much as I did this morning. Kidding, what are you up to, bro? Just cleaning all the shit out the back of the wagon that can fall and hit me in the back of the head. <laughs> But uh, uh, not to say I'm going to do gunshot or palm creek, I'm just saying that I, I, if I do choose to, at least I'm well equipped. I've yeah. got the right things in place. I think well, another important thing you said yesterday, I think you were saying yesterday, is that get our safety gear out of the back, out drawers. Of the back drawers. Sometimes and, you can't open the back door and get it out and you're stuck in yeah. palm creek or gunshot and you need it. So, so uh, yeah. that's the plan. So guys, as you can see, I'm trying to empty this out as much as possible. I'll take these beers out as well. Um, the rest of the stuff's sort of got to stay. Come around this side. Tinny's off. I'll just leave the tinny over here. Got me a recovery point in there. And also, come around this way. There's my recovery bag there. Got a snatch strap, a couple of soft shackles. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Two max tracks on the roof. Now between, between seven vehicles, I think we have something like 30 max tracks. So, you know, realistically, I think we have enough max trucks. This is actually the start of the old telegraph track, I believe. If yep. that's um, Within a the right thing to do. So guys, this is where it starts. Old telegraph track is down there. Got the beast down to 22 on the back. 18 on the rear for now, we can always let some more out. So I don't want to keep the traffic up, there's loads of people that want to grab a, 
a photo at the sign, but we're ready to go. Mate. Yeah, and apparently we've arrived. I, I had it all the way wrong. Where I thought Gunshot was actually first, but apparently it's Palm Creek, and this is where I'm starting to get nervous. So it's been obviously a pretty driving, a pretty cruisy drive in. Come on, let's go over and have a look at this. So this is a drop into Palm Creek. Not Gunshot. Can you believe it? Look at this. That's a, I reckon a one two, three, four, maybe even a five meter drop in. I don't know how deep that is. And then you gotta get out, it's a bit, it's a bit boggy. Bend, got a small creek and then, oh God, look at the exit. Jeez, that's one thing getting down. That's the exit, that is, that is impossible. Impossible. Oh, look at this side. The kids are even battling to climb up it. Well guys, take two of the old Telegraph track. Um, yesterday when we got to Palm Creek, there was a group in front of us um, that, that were attempting to do Palm Creek. And um, Aaron, you've got one waiting to come through on the tail end, mate. And um, there was a little bit of a medical emergency. incident, emergency, um, that cut the track off for the rest of the day. Back onto Palm Creek. We're going to try attempt the chicken track because no one's keen to try actual Palm Creek. Cause, well, coming along the track, we I've done it now five times, this little part of the track. We're so about 100 I'm in, meters in. In the 1500 ram, he let his tyres down a fair bit. Now the, the wall on the, the ram tyres are not that. The tyres on there are pretty good. It's just that it doesn't have the height. He's popped two tyres already this morning. I just, <laughs> I get this feeling like we're just not meant to do this part of the track, to be fair. There we go guys, we're approaching this um, entry into Palm Creek. Now this is the chicken track and well, as you can yeah, see, the chicken track is... You know this hump, I'm absolutely, I don't, is my anxiety levels are through the roof. What? Can't see you, bro. Straight. First little obstacle the old TT's thrown at us. Now we're just cruising, we're in two, two wheel drive, and we're moving on to the next one. I have no idea, Juicy like normal. Creek. Juicy, Juicy Creek, they believe. 
So I was right, so Juicy Creek it is. It's a bit, a bit like this going in, so. Yeah, hold it there, safe. Danny is down the bottom, he's gonna guide everyone. We're gonna stick to the left, we're gonna try and miss all the big divots. Um, and then we gotta, we're gonna actually crawl through the creek, which is pretty cool, so. How are you going? How are you finding the track? Yeah, I'm actually starting to enjoy myself now that the anxiety has come down a little bit. Are you having a good time? I'm starting to have a good time now that you've relaxed a bit. Yeah, it was just, you know, you don't know what you're in for and we don't, we haven't done this sort of four-wheel driving before. Mark's up first, but Mark's taking the um, finale aside. Let's see how he goes. El Pardo is really doing a good job today. This thing is an absolute beast, I must say. Over here, and let's see how he goes along. I'm not going to get that angle. Oh, damn it. Go this way. Back in corner, he's got it. It's gonna drop off. Oh, I've almost fallen down the hill. Right, we're gonna give the Nolly a side a go. Four low. Here we go. But actually, packed a few rocks on that left hand side. But I've got a steel tray on the back and that's one of the reasons why we got so much weight on the car is that steel tray but I reckon this is where I want a steel tray because like if the tray hits really it's thick thick metal so yeah that's it good straight straight from there Derek that's it straight good oh fuck. You come up on there on your driver's side so just yeah straight Left hand down a little. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> uh, the one thing I don't like about a car is when it flexes like that because these Land Cruisers have flexed like a shopping trolley. 100 and just slowly there, perfect. That's it. And you're down. Roll forward gently. Now we've got to get the back down. Yes, about another metre. Keep going, keep going, keep going. A little bit more of that 300 mil. And just now just slowly. Perfect. Ah, oh, beautiful. 
nailing it today. Oh, 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 get out of the way. Audrey. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. Guys, uh, what have we done? 28 k's from Bramwell Station. I put fuel in today. Um, pulled up to Dalhunty Creek. Awesome waterfall. Everyone's having to swim. Let's go and uh, do exactly the same thing. set up in a canopy by no means is this, is this the best but it's on the side of a creek somewhere up the cape hey having an absolute epic time here we go two minute noodles hey How'd you enjoy your swim? Oh, it was beautiful. That water is beautiful. Oh, did you do a little floppy floppy in? I did love, I did a jump in. I went right, the waterfall. I pushed across a couple of times. Loving life. Living it, Barry. Well, guys, off to have an awesome swim. Lunch in our bellies. Bit of tucker. We've come across to another creek here. Not far from just where we were. Um, let's have, oh, oh, shit. That's deeper than I thought. No, no, not ready. What are we doing? Holy moly, check this out. Yes, look at this. Creek. So we gotta go, where you, Mark, do you even know where you're going? Do you know where you're going? Oh, look at this beautiful creek. All right, well, I take it we come along here and into it and out the other side. Here we are. Here we are, famous gunshot. Now let me go and have a look at it for in person. I've seen a few photos and videos of old. Holy dooly. Surely that's not the only way across this creek. Hey, it's actually over here, guys. Really? That is bloody gnarly. Look at this. No, nah, why am I going that way? Apparently this is gunshot. Can't even see old mate. Holy moly. That is that is what? We got a couple of choices, mate. We got this one here. That's worse, that's more vertical. Oh, you got this here. This is gnarly. That's gunshot, love. It actually looks the easiest. Sam, I don't think you got it here, mate. Wow. So this is the um, this is the chicken track, which. <laughs> well, I don't even know. I walked down for you. Walked down for us there, Brad. This is the chicken track. Chicken track, sir. Let's see how deep this is. Oh, that's deep, mate. Too. That's good for the fucking course. Yeah. How deep is it on that side there, Aaron? Oh, yeah, it's like I'm there. probably up what, above my ankles this way. And um, another little line here was that. Oh my god. Yeah, see that one's yeah. a bad line. No. no. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Shit. Yeah. So yeah. that's no good. So yeah. that's no good. So yeah. that's no good. Yeah, comes the big ram.
here coming up, which is going to grab that front passenger wheel. It's going to be good. Keep coming. Keep coming. This is absolutely gnarly. station which apparently is about a hundred k's on the PDR thought it was all over it's not it's not we've got another creek crossing oh holy moly oh my goodness can you all right here we go That was our deepest river crossing there, darling. a little happy with himself. Wow, I'm going to do that again. <laughs> You're going to do it again. Woo! Bonnet deep. Look at this, guys. So the water come over there. Hey, all my hard work's paid off. Look at this. That's the water line. Yes. Couldn't have done it any better. And then look at this. You. What a, it is beautiful along here at sunset. Look at this. <laughs> Again, <laughs> when you just thought you were on the development road, the OTT throws you a curveball. So we've got some sort of wooden bridge thing that we've got to cross here. 
We're in the creek here. Oh. Oh. Come on. Come on, the big cruiser. the end of the uh, southern part of the OTT. The group's back together. As you can see, it's getting pretty dark. Let's have a look here. Bramwell Roadhouse. No idea how many kilometers it's got there, but it's just behind me. There it is. Have a look at that, eh? Wow. And this is the, um, this is the PDR. And look at the corrugation. I don't know if you can see the corrugations. Fun time ahead. But I believe it's 100 k's. Two stations, so. Catch, um, catch you back at station.